so guys we will enter its float property float to left if I'll open it in browser and refresh now you'll see it's in the same line so guys I can do this in two ways or I can use float or I can use display inline property it is in the same line so but mostly people like to use float even I I also like to use float property so enter float guys I wanna give it a border of one pixel too ally elements also but we will remove it later you can see guys you can see that the border is uh, on the top of uh, this ally tag but it should be it should at the bottom so for that means it has not cleared all the div elements for that we will use br clear all if I refresh now you can see guys always use br clear tag before the wrapper tag or if you are getting problem with any floating properties use it here clear try to use it here you can see it's working perfectly now so I give it the width to so I will give it the width of the 120 pixels I can see and uh, align it text to center center I will increase it, uh, its width I'll set it on 190 pixels now you can see and uh, I will also set its height I will set it to 30 pixels guys in now, now you can see the height has been increased but the text is a little bit at the top so in order to make it in vertical center we will use line height property set line height uh, equal to the whatever the height of this ally tag if I refresh now you can see it is right in the center so this is just like an app so Firstly, guys, I for, uh, forget to do uh, one thing. I will give a background color, and I will set it to um, to CCC and refresh. Now you can see. Let me check uh, my previous template. That what was the background color? Yeah, it was CCC. So. Now guys I want to remove this underline and I want to change the text color so for that I will use header ULLIA because guys this text inside the anchor tag so we will use the A property inside ally element so I will enter text decoration to none Now you can see and uh, I will change its color to I will change it to white color yeah you can see guys I want to give it uh, a background color to it so in ally I will use a background color I can select any color I will use red color now you can see it's in red color now the header is ready but we want to add a hover effect means when I hover my my mouse over this nav the color, background color should be changed so I will copy this means okay I'll write it alright header ULLI hover I'll change the background color I'll set it to 333333 three, 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 three. if I refresh and I will hover it now you can see it's background color I can change it to black also but it's looking cool I can change it to black 000000, zero, 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 zero. yeah now you can see it's in black color now, uh, guys you can see one more thing that when I will hover over the anchor tag its cursor will be a pointer you can change with CSS also if I the cursor to pointer also and it will be automatically changed but guys 
don't uh, I recommend you don't to use it if you will use on anchor tag it, it will be automatically convert to a uh, its cursor to a pointer so guys this was our nav so after this we will use image we will insert an image here so I will just write image source browse click on browse button and this image this is a very good feature of uh, uh, Dreamweaver. It will give you a little bit help. So I want to adjust its width. It's a little bit more than uh, this nav. So I will enter width. Now it will show you the uh, original real width. I will set it to 965. It's a little bit more. 963. Yeah, 961. Uh, I'll set it nine six. I think it 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 will be better. So now it should work. Yeah, now it's it's good. So guys, uh, now I'll remove the border of style uh, ally tag. If I remove the border, now you will see it don't have any border. In the same way, we can increase its, its width now. I'll set it to one ninety two our nav and you can place jquery here i will teach you in next tutorial that how to use jquery or we will design a professional template i would say put a second template but this is a very simple template for the beginners now our header is ready now guys we will create uh, i will show you what we are going to create create this nav services means for services we are your we are offering so for that obviously I will close it so guys we will use one more tag I will give a name of divide equal to body part I'll close it and of body part I will give it div id equal to body left and of body left. Firstly, I will make a id selector here. So, its name body part, and uh, I'll give it to the border of one pixel. In the end of this tutorial. Uh, we will remove all the borders. Oh, you can see a border is added. Guys, we will add one, one more thing that is padding. Padding 10 pixels to all sides. Now you can see, and uh, we'll give it a background color to wrapper. This is wrapper tag, so the background color to white. Uh, if I refresh now, you can see white. It's in white color now. So. A width of header is 967 pixels. Now it's good. And top nav is ready, arrow is ready now. Get a body left. It's body part, one pixel solid, and uh, body left. I will uh, order one pixel solid and uh, I will float it to left. Guys, if you are floating, then you have to specify its width also, otherwise, it will uh, cover all the width. I will enter 250 pixels and uh, I'll refresh now you can see uh, but we have to write something I now you can see this is our body left which where we will write us about uh, services so I will use a h2 tag I will enter services if I refresh now you can see so, so now we'll change the color background color of h2 tag so we'll enter body left 
course, H2 tag is inside this body left. So, enter body left. 